So AI could see a picture, but it can't really read a story. Why? Because language isn't static. In language, order matters. This is the History of AI series, a series where I demystify where this technology came from. This is part eight, mastering sequences and memory. Old networks had no memory. They'd read the man bit the dog and have no idea how it was different from the dog bit the man. Every word was a total surprise. We needed a network that could remember the plot sequentially. So enter the hero of this story, the recurrent neural network or R RNN. This idea is brilliantly simple. An RNN has a loop. The loop creates a hidden state, which is just a fancy word for memory. It's like a tiny notepad. It reads word one, the, and then jots down article. It reads word two, clouds, and then combines that with the memory of what it had for the. By the time it gets to the end of the sentence, its notepad has a summary of everything that came before it. It has what we call context. But this story has a problem. Simple RNNs are, well, simple. They have terrible long-term memory. It's the vanishing gradient problem all over again. By the time the RNN gets to the end of a long paragraph, it has completely forgotten the beginning. It's like talking to someone who could only remember the last three words of what you said. It's brutal. So this plot needs a new hero. In 1997, in came the LSTM, or Long Short Term Memory Network. LSTM is a deluxe RNN. It's not just a notepad, it's a tiny computer with gates. It has a forget gate to decide what to erase, an input gate to decide what to save, and an output gate to decide what to share right now. It learns what's important. So LSTMs could find finally track context over long story. They dominated NLP for years. And finally, we had a network with memory, but did it actually know what those words meant? Next time, we'll talk about the story of how AI learned to solve riddles. Stay tuned for part nine.